Today we are making a ridiculously easy camp meal. One of the foil packets has started flaming up. It might have gotten a leak. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of browning and charring. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know what the inside looks like. Man, I messed up. <laughs> We're making foil packet dinners. All you have to do is throw together a bunch of vegetables and uh, meat of your choice in a packet of tin foil, throw that over the fire, let it cook for about 30 minutes and you have yourself dinner. There's no dishes involved, which is really awesome with this meal. And it makes for a really easy camping meal. And so as you can see, I am in beautiful uh, Arizona, Southwest Arizona. Is that right? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, I'm in my backyard. I fooled you guys though. You thought I was in Arizona, but I'm not. I wanted to make something that is easy to do camping. Um, so I'm gonna use only camping equipment and camping gear because this meal is meant to be enjoyed on the road when you're out in the woods. First, I'm gonna start with the coals. These will take a while to get hot. Picture this as a nice campfire and you're in the forest and on a lovely camping trip. <laughs> and maybe, maybe the fire isn't going that well, so you're pouring lighter fluid over it. Okay, so while that is going, we are going to get started on making the foil packets. So we're gonna make two versions of the foil packets. One's gonna be really easy and one's going to be more complex, but still fairly easy. If you can do level one, I bet you could do level two, no problem. So let's get to cooking. Okay, so for this recipe, you will need some vegetables. I got mushrooms, potato, onion, broccoli, some sort of meat if you want. I got some ground beef here. The last thing you'll need and the most important is some tin foil. I recommend the heavy duty kind. You don't want that breaking apart in the coals. And you'll also want some form of oil. So that's all you need. It's really simple. You can swap out the ingredients pretty readily and it makes for a really easy meal. So I got both parchment paper and tin foil because I wanted to do a little experiment and see how well just the tin foil did and then tin foil with the parchment paper and see if that could reduce sticking. In general, you just need the heavy duty foil. And one thing while I'm making this meal, I'm trying to be mindful of how big the pieces are because you don't want really, really large chunks that are gonna cook a lot differently in terms of time than you know, a small sliver of onion. So I'm not gonna have too big of potatoes here. We're gonna do decently big chunks of the onion as well. Next up is broccoli, some mushrooms. Well, first we'll do the wrap without parchment paper. Just plop our vegetables down. Sprinkle some ground beef in there, salt and pepper. Give it some oil. I'm going to cinch it at the top and then roll the ends. Kind of like ribs. All right, so we got foil packet one down. As I mentioned before, we're gonna see how much help parchment paper adds. All right, we got both foil packets ready to go. Okay, can you see me? <laughs> My face is really hot. Now that the coals are at a good spot, they're not too hot, we're just gonna put our foil packets in and let them cook. I'm gonna let these go about 30 minutes, flipping them every 10 or so minutes. See you soon. All right, might have a problem. <laughs> uh, as you can see, one of them, one of the foil packets has started flaming up. So I'm gonna see what is wrong with it. It might have gotten a leak. Um, so maybe there's some fat or oil spilling on because I just flipped them. All right, so here is a cooking update. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of browning and charring. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know what the inside looks like. Maybe it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I just pulled off both of these and I'm a little afraid. This one feels really light. I don't know why it feels so light. Uh, this one feels a little bit heavier, but I'm gonna do a taste test. Okay, grand reveal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's totally, I think it's salvageable, but it is totally charred. Okay, that was way too hot. Lesson learned. 
I think there's gonna be some edible bits in here. Man, I messed up. <laughs> the parchment paper is totally black, so I wouldn't recommend using parchment paper because that, that will catch on fire. This one's even lighter, so I doubt it will be even better. Oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna do this again, and I'm gonna get it right, okay? Ooh, yeah, that's good. I mean, it's simple, but it's well cooked. Now for the more advanced version of this, where you are going to marinate the steak. It's a little bit nicer cut of meat. We have ribeye. Along with that marinade, we're gonna make a simple chimichurri sauce to go on top. As always, we have our tin foil. There's a bunch of seasonings. And keeping things simple with the vegetables, we have potato, garlic, carrot, onion, and we will be doing a garlic confit. So we're just gonna wrap up that garlic in tin foil and throw that in and top it at the end. Very easy to add on, but should make an excellent addition to the meal. Okay, so this marinade is super simple. I'm going to first chop up the ribeye how, how I would like it when I am eating it. I'm doing cubes for this. This will all go into a plastic bag. So we're gonna add the juice of one lime, oil. I'm eyeballing this, but it's about a third of a cup. Salt and pepper. Give that a good mix. Throw it into the cooler for anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple of hours. And that should be a nice and delicious marinade. Now we're gonna make this chimichurri. We have equal parts parsley and cilantro. I'm just gonna get this as fine as possible. Onion powder, crushed red pepper, Italian seasoning blend, salt, pepper, apple cider vinegar, the juice of one lime, and a bunch of oil. Give it a good mix. That's chimichurri. And some onion. So we have some carrots, got some potato, got the steak that was marinating, and that's our foil packet. Number three, going in a lower, hopefully lower temperature of coals. Fingers crossed with this one, I'm not gonna cook it as long, and I think the coals are less hot at this point, so. You know, we're just learning. We're all on this journey together. So inside of here, I've cut a head of garlic in half and completely covered it in oil. Uh, and we're gonna give this a good wrap of tin foil and just throw it on the coals. So after the unsuccessful round one, we have the more advanced version here. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna start with the garlic. Ow, the oil's hot. <laughs> so we got the garlic. Ooh. Check that out, they all came out. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I hope it's not completely charred. Hey, success. These look pretty good. Let's see how done like the carrot is. Oh, it's a soft carrot. It's a soft carrot. It's cooked. We did it. <laughs> okay, so we got this ribeye that was marinated. I'm gonna squeeze some of that garlic on. Got some of our chimichurri. But before you see my reaction, if you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thank you very much. All right, let's try the first bite. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm, you get the liminess of that marinade coming through. Oh, those carrots are so like soft, a little hard, and really good. I'm gonna get some garlic on this next bite. I would eat this. I would eat this again. That's really good. Timmy cherry helps add some brightness. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna keep eating this. See you later.